Caleb, this island is too small for both of us. I am the general of the green army. I'm gonna send my hounds to you. I am the general of the purple army and I send my machine gunners against your hounds. I'm gonna upgrade my hounds and make a cyborg ones. I'm upgrading my tanks to make them suicide drones. Okay, I'm gonna make a nuclear wolves. I'm making nuclear drones. <laughs> War Pips is a tug of war strategy game with a bit of tower defense mechanics. There are four ways to play, well, three after the tutorial, which you should definitely play because it's pretty quick, very helpful, and it will be quite confusing if you jump straight into conquest mode without playing the tutorial. Then there's conquest mode, which is a full campaign of conquering multiple islands one battle at a time. Endless mode where you're on a map and with endless waves of enemies and quick battle is just one battle to have a little five minute fun to test out your combat skills. So let's focus on conquest mode because that is the traditional campaign with multiple battles conquering one island after another. The key here is that you'll have multiple territories on each island to take over, each with their own challenges and upgrades if you succeed. You could try to take over every province of an island, but the catch is, if you do that to try to build up more upgrades and strength, with every territory of an island that you conquer, it means that the final battle will be that much more difficult. And once you enter the actual battle, the maps are pretty small, but you're going to deploy troops. You're not controlling them directly. You can place turrets or release the hounds, launching rockets or fire from cannon. And there are some economics buildings as well cooldown and limited use of some troops that you can use on the map. While you're playing, you will slowly build up battle points, which you can use on three different things. The main one is to upgrade the rank of your soldiers. And when you use a certain number of points, they will upgrade their rank, which unlocks certain troops and upgrades the strength and special abilities of other troops. Or you could use that points to get some quick cash which mm -hmm. sometimes when the enemy is bearing down on you, all you need is enough money to get your next troops out to defend yourself. Or you can use that point to unlock additional slots or pips to be able to deploy more troops at one time. Your choice of the timing and what you prioritize to use your points for is a really important part of your strategy. Also, once you have troops out on the battlefield, there are two types of boosts that you can use. If you hold down E, it means that it will use your power meter to accelerate their speed and to make them more accurate. But this is only valid as long as you still have some juice on the power meter, which you get by making kills. The other way to use that meter is to hold down Q and they will defend and hold their positions as long as you have some power in your meter. And in between each battle, you can choose units to take with you and spend points on either permanent upgrades or buying a unit from arm dealer, which will be randomly generated. The offer he makes, you can buy new snipers or maybe some upgrades and things like that. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's everything that you need to know for us to answer the most important question, which is, should, should you, you play, play it? it? But first, you should know that this game is going to be completely free from the Epic Game Store. You will have one week to claim it starting February 16th, 2023. If you claim it during that time, it'll be added to your library. You can install it whenever you want. And that is what we do on this channel. We play and review every free game from the Epic Game Store, so you never have to be bored ever again. This game is minimalistic. Uh, one battle can take from 10 to 20 minutes, so it's really easy to pick up. Uh, it's hard to master, though. Later in the game, it's going to get far more harder. And I wish there was a multiplayer Couch Cop would be best, mm. but this is a single player game only. And even though you got a lot of different maps, they visually, they are very different, but they are same small, they're really mm -hmm. small. And I think there's a certain limitation in this game. Mm -hmm. So I don't think this is a bad game. It's great for people with potato PCs yeah. and people who has like only like 20 to 30 minutes uh, per day to get some gaming mm -hmm. for them yes but for general gamers i'm climbing to no so i don't think you necessarily need to play it if there would be multiplayer i would say yes but as yeah. it is i'm saying no mm -hmm. 
I, I agree with all of that. Uh, and I also wish that there was multiplayer or like split screen co-op kind of thing. One of the things I really appreciate is how easy it is to start playing mm -hmm. and that you can play in very small increments. Mm -hmm. So that's actually a plus for me with the, oh, the me way too. that my gaming time is, is set these days usually. And the farther you go into it, the more challenging it gets. I would say if you're a gamer and you really want to be engaged, start on a higher difficulty level because then right from the beginning, you will have to maximize your strategies and really master all the different unit types. The farther you go in, the more options you have about what type of troops you're going to take mm -hmm. to the battle. And this is when it actually gets challenging. If you make the wrong decisions from the beginning, you'll just, you're just just going to be completely wiped out. So it's not game of the year. It's very simplistic, but I found it engaging. And I actually am leaning towards yes for this okay. game. I think it's worth, it's fun, it's straightforward, but it is challenging and gets more and more engaging the deeper you get into it. If you want to see for yourself how did we enjoy it playing it for the first time, we have a video that we played live first an hour of the game, so you can check that. And if you want a game that's similar, well, it's tower defense, but it has a similar feel. We also reviewed Defense Grid Awakening that was free about a couple of years ago, and you'll find that review up here as well. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.